None the wiser for jobs. bang in the face if he's going to be pulling knives on people bro. yeah he can't be serious that's not a thing that you do for pizza oh. <laughs> serious oh let's get a heat around here. is that his son or his brother i don't know i think it's i can't lie this cracked me up you know i don't know why i was on some stupid flex today bro oh, it's not just a <laughs> Just a boulder, it's the rock. Oh bro. no, I was on some dumb shit today. <clears throat> Boom. Oh. oh, what episode are we on? Oh, uh, fuck. I don't 20, know. 23. Is it 23? Yeah. 23. Uh, you do know that. Episode 23, None the Wise of Podcast. Episode 3. Yeah. Episode 3. <laughs> episode 23. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one that just woke up. You know. know All right, cool. Episode twenty-three, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? What's going on in the world, man? I can't lie. Apart from the politics, I don't want to talk about politics. I want to go through some dumb videos quick (coughs) that I sent you, bro, because I just found them funny, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. This guy. Oh wait. Look, 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 look. I don't care that you broke your elbow. I don't care. You know Bro, did you see his face afterwards? Look. I don't care that you broke your elbow. You know that one Don that's in the mm-hmm. class that ain't really on crud, but he's, he's just had a know what? Yeah. I don't care you broke your elbow. <laughs> Stop fucking about it. It's so, dis- so precise. Bro, this bread dog just cracked me up, bro. What is he doing? Who's this? Tony Bellew. <laughs> yeah, watch it. What? No, nah, you can't go. Wait, 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 wait. What? Bro, is he moaning in people's ears? <laughs> <laughs> what possesses? What even gave you that? Bro, look at his face, though. Watch his face. Watch his face. Watch it. His... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. No, no, no. You can't be doing that. That's. Oh my days. He just stares at them. <laughs> he said, is there a problem? <laughs> Keep walking, brother. Bro, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, this is the last one. Because this should make me laugh. Oh. Christian Cha Cha. Oh, Pray yeah, once. On the devil. Let's start. On the devil. <laughs> side, real Bro, we was doing this in primary school. The cha cha slide. Yeah. Bro. To the left. Man's doing the gospel slide. Take a step of faith. We were doing the. I'll come across some cra- mad shit, bro. Nah, bro. Yeah. Ins is our madness right now. So. <coughs> <clears throat> I went to see Giggs in concert at Wembley. The, f- the finale of his. Um, of his tour. Yeah, his man. Europe tour. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm saying. I never saw gigs perform before. And then you know what? You forget how many bangers he's actually got, you know? He's got so many, bro. Hard Man beats. came out with the hard beats out the gate. Mm. It was like that for a good 20 minutes. Man just banging out tunes with just the craziest bass. Do you know what it is? He's, got, he's just got such a, a catalogue of bangers, bro. Just he does. preloaded, bro. Done. You know I mean? And you yeah. know what is he, Giggs has something that a lot of these um a lot of these hood brothers don't have is versatility in the sense that he will make music 
to appeal to different audiences. You make music to appeal to girls. You make music to appeal to the streets. You make that real yeah. stuff. Talking about life. Yeah, you know, his gigs. He he has a what's the <clears throat> word? A presence that yeah. a lot of other guys in the rap game don't seem to have. I don't know if you get what I mean. Mm. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, like yeah, this yeah. presence, like you know what it is. It's it's a combination of things. Yeah, it's a combination of the fact that he came through. Yeah, he was one of the first men to come through and kick the doors down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. And then, on top of that, he did it in a trill way. Yeah. Mm. With, and on top of that, he's affiliated heavily. <clears throat> yeah. So all of those things and making bangers. Mm. So all of that stuff come together. It's just like the ultimate kind of thing, isn't it? Mm. The ultimate kind of energy. So when I saw him in concert, it was sick, man. Um, he's he's one of, he's. For me, he's one of the guys that was like known before he was like rapping. Even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. I used to see Giggler like yeah, Giggler, yeah, graffitied yeah. on the bus stop and things like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I was like, Who's Giggler? Who's Giggler? He was known from before he was rapping, bro. I think that's what that's one of the one of the elements what that, that, that kind yeah, of helped yeah. him. Yeah, helped him a lot. I mean? yeah, Not yeah. to mention the beats, bro. Has yeah, he yeah, got? Yeah. Has he got like a specific uh, producer? He well, he like had he guy. had different ones. He had the uh, what's it called? Was it Boom Boom Production? Yeah, he started out. He had Boom Production. Um, that was the main one, innit? When they first started, yeah. out. he started out really. I think spitting over different people's beats, innit? Then I think he obviously he's got Boom, mm. and then that kind of birthed that era of gigs. You know what I'm saying? With them kind of tunes, that walk in the park type mm. sound. You know what I'm saying? Then I don't know. He started to. I don't know who his producers are. Yeah, I don't really know. I mean, he's probably <coughs> mad. Beats. He's probably said a few on his tracks. I've just. I yeah, can yeah, only yeah, remember yeah, Boom yeah, Minute because yeah, yeah. Unit Ten. Yeah, Unit Ten. Um, and then yeah. Big Ride all over the. Yeah, over Big the Ride. Thing. That was a classic era, man. Yeah. Big Ride. Do you know what song I was listening to the other day, bro? It took me back from um, charging up. I'm charging up. Get Yo. my big strap. Fill the cartridge up. One thing I was I was like, how, yeah, was basically at the end of Giggs' show, he does like a, a old school bangers um, segment yeah, 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 of yeah. his old tunes for the old people who know Giggs from, mm. you know what I'm saying, oh, oh, 04, oh, 05 and that, yeah. You know the one, Pain is the Essence. Yeah, yeah. Pain is the yeah. Essence. Probably one of my favourite. his bars, man. <clears throat> I was like, nah, man. Do you know what it is though? Like, I don't, I, I like dubs. I like dubs. Uh, I don't know too much about what dubs does in the background. I'm, I'm, I know he's gone on tour with gigs before. Mm. I don't know how much of a stage presence he's ever have had. Like I don't know how well, many big stages. Like yeah, that. like yeah, I so don't know how many a, times yeah. he's been on a big. Like you're talking about Wembley, bro. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. anything could have went wrong. These things happen, bro. Isn't it? No, but, it's true. But it's he true. carried on. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's one of them ones. Gigs helped him. Do you know what I'm saying? Gigs helped him through it because obviously Gigs knew his bars as well, innit? So mm. kind of helped him through it and eventually man got there, innit? You know what I'm saying? But it was cool. Nonetheless, it was a sick performance, man. Bro, that, like I said, that's probably one of my favourite songs. Bro, let me tell you something. <clears throat> Ever to come from Gigs. Just a side note, yeah? Forties. Bare thoughts. Like, you know them girls, they come in like a group of ten. Yeah, and all of them are paying. You know what they're there for. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know what they're there for. You know what you're there they're for. They're going to the after party. Got some of that yeah. solo four five action, bro. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Wait, hold on. No, none of that. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. We're not associating that with this. Yeah, it's a different thing, but you know. Yeah, man. You know, that, same catalyst. And it kind of made me think, like, Rod, these girls are coming out for these for rappers, like, well, I suppose it's gigs, isn't it? It's gigs. Do you know what I'm saying? Who's yeah. a bigger UK rapper? Like, oh yeah, man, it's gig. So it made me think, like, oh, that's fair now, yeah. I mean, I don't want to tarnish every girl with that brush, though, innit? it? Some no, girls, it's not every girl. Some girls, are, some girls can wear revealing stuff and be very uh -huh. respectable at the same time. You know, don't get this. How the you can? How revealing? Are we talking because, about revealing because... your figure or revealing the actual skin? So probably both in a sense. No, I'm not saying getting your fucking wangers at. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't mean getting no wangers at. You know what I mean? But 
Girls can. <laughs> the wangers. Girls can. Hey, I've never heard that. That's term some before. white boy thing. What, the wangers? <laughs> <laughs> the wangers. Wow, you heard it now, the wangers. <laughs> yeah. Aircraft hangers, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You can like girls can wear what they want to wear and still be respectful, bro. Because yeah, yeah. their clothes don't define them, in it. At the same time, yeah, I've had many girls turn around. No, for real though, I've had many girls turn around to me yeah, and be like, "I don't wear nice clothes or I don't dress like this when I go out for guys." Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but no, but no, but I'm just saying you can't. No, but you can't. You can't judge every everything. Boom. That's like that's like saying that's like because you need to look at it from a perspective. No, that's like saying. Every time, like you dress up personally, like for example, yeah, to go out, that you're that you're dressing up in a certain way to draw a girl. We're going out. At. Going but out. Is, yeah. Ah. yeah, but my point is, do you oh, when you dress you up? Mean. When you dress up, do you you're dressing up because you want to look Let nice? Me tell you something. Do you get what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. And don't get me wrong, you might appreciate the little stares and that from girl, but you're not necessarily going out to draw a girl. Do you get what I'm saying? Listen, there's a difference between dressing nice and being revealing. That schlatt. <laughs> I don't is. know, like... No, no, there, no, is, hold on, there hold is, there is. Because, look, yeah, a girl could dress in a nice dress, yeah, the nice looks dress, but she's not actually revealing anything. She's yeah. leaving things to the imagination. Yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah, but for she real. still looks pain. Which, in my so, opinion, is better. So, given that, and given they know that they can do that, yeah, same goes for guys, bro. What's yeah? the male equivalent? The male equivalent is man wearing skin-tight jeans, yeah, and V-necks that come down... The chest. Okay, yeah. Basically, basically like salt bay. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like salt bay, Tight jeans. Like, I'm yeah. like, yo, how are you comfortable? <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, man. but no, look, look, I can't tarnish every girl in it, yeah. In fact, yeah, what is this? Episode 23? Yeah. Episode 23, none of the podcast, yeah. When this gets released, yeah, any females that watch this and have a. Uh, a preference on what we both just said please comment on this we'll release this this little segment right, here cool. but anyway yeah so I, I you can't tarnish every girl with that brush bro yeah, I don't I'm not I'm saying yeah there's 40s bro yeah there's 40s are different they're right they're a different class do you know what is yeah do you know what is I, I let me rephrase what I said yeah I've seen girls that wear what Pete what man would redeem to be uh uh to be revealing, deem to be yeah not redeem sorry <laughs> deem deem sorry to be revealing, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, train of deem to be revealing, yeah. But they conduct themselves very well, and then you get a girl that's revealing, and they you can see they're childish, bro, and they act like thoughts, bro. Yeah, yeah. There's a difference in it. I've seen I've seen a girl wear, wear revealing shit, but she's very respectful of herself, and and and. Like how she conducts herself. She ain't she ain't going around all slaggy. No, yeah, yeah. Back yeah, in there bed, drinks, that, leaning up to a man. Bro, I was bro, I was in one place once, yeah. The girl, she wasn't even that passed out, bruv, yeah. But I tell you now, yeah, she was basically had her head in man's crotch, bruv. Oh. Just like just on the on the on the chair. The brother's sitting there, the girl's head's there. She's not sucking them off or anything, yeah. But the <laughs> head's the head's just there in it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And it's like <sighs> <laughs> What would your mum think? <clears throat> what would your mum? What, what would Nan? What Nan say? What would Nan say? What would Nan say? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. Listen, yeah. The point I was making was the power that these rappers are wielding. Oh these, yeah, yeah. For, like the choice is crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's a thing of you know uh, the um, it's a psychological thing. I think what makes a woman attracted to a man. It's his power and his ability to power. Oh. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, it's the ultimate. Mm. You're famous, you're rich. Yeah, like, women want to wanna feel protected by their man, innit? So, obviously, yeah, they look at a man for, for power, protectiveness, <coughs> a form of assertiveness. You know what I mean? But then, some girls look, some girls look for that more than maybe other women. Mm. Some other women might want that with a little dash of sensitivity thrown in there, a little dash of fucking whatever else. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, women, are, women, they all want similar things. Like, men all want similar things. Like, if you're if you're a respectful man, you want your woman to be respectful. Do you know what I mean? You want to have, have, like, from my perspective, I want to have conversations with my girl. 
Mm. Do you know what I mean? I don't want it to be one-sided mm. conversation. I want some yeah. intellect thrown back 100%. at me. You know what I mean? I want to have little debates here and there in it. I want. I don't want to be necessarily always on the same page in the sense of views because that's yeah. what makes it interesting that people have different views. You know, mm. but some girls just go go out looking for the money. Others are just gold diggers. <clears throat> yeah. Can you take my money. We have it. You know what I mean? It made me think. Yeah. All right. Cool. Now, since we're talking about girls and what they want, Dick. you know who, you know who Dan Bilzerian is? I brought him up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy, bro. The bearded legend. Yeah. <laughs> the bro, bearded you know legend. how he came to popularity? Poker. <clears throat> Instagram. Not, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was poker. partly yeah, poker, poker because basically there was a, um, a gift that was going around here yeah, where he was in the audience of a poker game, yeah? And he had la- basically just a girl there just to stroke his beard. Mad. Wait, did he pay her to game. do that, or did she actually? I don't know. It's like it's up in the air. I don't know, innit? But there was just a woman there that was basically stroking his beard for the. That's incredible. Yeah. That's yeah. like if you like you know like when you're playing Street Fighter and you got the people in the background. Some chick stroking his beard. Yeah. Yeah, that's, real, that's exactly what it's like. Yeah, yeah, who's Dan Bilzerian? That could be a video yeah, game, bro, but he's just there, fam. So, I did a little bit of research on him. He's got interest, like, he's got kind of an interesting... Uh, he, he didn't come from poverty or anything like that. He's always he was, rich. He was, what was he in? The, he was in the um, Marines or something like that. Well, he, he attempted to be a Navy SEAL. SEALs, he went right. through, like, the trials or whatever, but failed, didn't it? Mm. Injuries, he said. Broken leg or something like that. Yeah, yeah um, that'll got do signed you, it? off. That'll do it. Yeah, so um, it's interesting. He was in the seals. He's obsessed with guns, from what it seems. He's got a gun in every room, from what I understand. You know, but I would too, man. I would as well. Yeah, but hold on. He's obsessed with guns. There's a gun in every room. Yeah. And they're locked and loaded. Yeah. Straight up. You're allowed. Let me tell you. He he lives in America, isn't it? Right, cool. Gun laws in America, bro. Yeah. I want a fucking gun in every fucking room with a fucking loaded, all loaded up in yeah. that, fam. Dragon, never, dragon's fam, breath shells. Fam, with people running up in schools the way they do, and, yeah. and that, bro, that that shooting yesterday or the day before that they just had, what, bro. Think, where, where the, where the, do you see that? Where the police got shot on the street, they had a, no. they had a shootout. No. Yeah, bro. Man, them just shooting up fucking people, bro, in the street like it's nothing, bro. Of course I'm going to have a so, gun in every room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah? Do you think what is going? What do you think is going through the mind of a woman who? Because if you've seen Dan Bilzerian's Instagram, yeah, mm. there's just women everywhere, like just. I don't know, man. Some some, some just, women like, like uh, some women are funny, man. They like the whole danger element. They like the whole mysterious it's element. It's not even danger or mysterious though. It's like it's. I feel like they just want to have a good time, you know. There is that. I that is like, a big part of it. And they know he's got money. He's gonna yeah. take them around the world, private yeah. jets. Yeah. They're gonna do skiing and go on. Do you know what it is though? It's it's how you look at it because these girls might not necessarily be there for technically anything but a payment, but a paycheck. Do you get what I'm saying? Because what I'm saying is, yeah, like how many video shoots have we been to, yeah, where where the girls were hired? Do you know what I mean? They're getting paid at the end of the day, but they were quite respectful girls from what what I Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 one hundred. So my point is like. You never really know from you never really know from the videos what their intentions so are. So is he you, hiring the you, girls? Well, I don't know, but I, I'm just saying if he is, then I think at this point he doesn't need to hire them. Yeah, I don't think he needs to hire them. I think their payment is indirect. Mm. Yeah, mm. like just being around, you're gonna receive something. I think yeah. he's got a modeling agency, or he's got something to do. He might with have a modeling yeah. agency. Plus, I remember him on, <clears> on Rogan talking about okay, well. I showed girls on my Instagram, you know, and uh, so in that, in that respect, if he is, if the girls are being around him mm. and their aspiration is to, you know, be famous, be a model, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. and they're on his Instagram, so you in. know, with him, a lot of people are going to see that, a lot of powerful, rich people are going to see yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. They get the attention. Mm. Right? You know, that makes sense. That, you know why that, that makes sense? sense? Because... You know what? It, it, it opens doors because it's a f- actually quite yeah. smart. It's a form of networking in the sense that... In a sense, yeah. That... <laughs> you got you got you got Dan Bilzerian and you know that he's he's around a lot of influential people. Yeah. And who can hook you up with yeah, yeah. jobs. So you're yeah. right, it is a form of networking. It's, it it's not what you know, it's who you know. Yeah. I can imagine not many of them are over the age of twenty five. 
also. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing, innit? It's a case of scratch my back, I scratch yours. You, you be in my videos. My back is. You know what I mean? Dick. Let me. <laughs> my back. The back of my, my back. Dick. My back is my. The back. Dick. I didn't finish that sentence. It's my dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but for all though, innit? Like you, you, you do something for me. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. <laughs> I'd do something for you. Mm. Nah, but yeah, man, it could be a, it could be a, an array of things, you know? It could be loads of things. I just think it's crazy, like, how a man can just... I suppose I suppose you get girls that wouldn't look twice, also. <clears throat> yeah. You know? I because know of that whole situation, you know? They're just, yeah. Yeah, they're just not into that lifestyle. But, it, you know, so. no two people going to be the same, man, you know? That that goes in a in a sense in hand with with that I was watching earlier in it. I was watching this uh, interview with Georgia Smith, yeah, and um, the woman who is interviewing her is a very cash interview in it, like on yeah, sofa yeah. and that like, all the pizzas and them things there. Mm. In it. Yeah, I can't remember the interviewer's name, so apologies. But um, it got into a comment. She asked Georgia Smith about it's called pretty privilege. Ooh, that's a real thing. Yeah. It's a real yeah. thing. And Georgia Smith's response was, yeah, sometimes they refer to me as, oh, you know that buff girl? Or you know that pretty girl? Mm-hmm. Before they refer to her as, oh, you know that art? Oh, you know that, yeah, Georgia Smith, the singer, the artist. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I never really thought about it before, but pretty privilege is a real thing. Yeah, it is, man. Yeah. Of course it is. You know what the I mean? The first thing you see about someone is what they look like. But it's mad. It's <laughs> mad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And men are men if are, she's buff, obviously, like a man, if she's buff, is gonna treat her nicely. Mm. Just is what it is. Probably more likely to get job. Yeah, you know? like she was, cause she was. Yeah, she was saying she'll go certain places, <clears throat> and it's like they'll they'll recognize her as an artist mm. in a sense of because you. It's like it's like if you just see see like Rihanna. You know she's a singer, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then automatically from a guy's perspective, even the girl's perspective, yeah, she said there's sometimes a form of jealousy from girls yeah, because yeah, of how I look. And then it's like, from a guy's perspective, it's like, okay, I know you're a singer. I don't care about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You're like, you're buff. Do you know what That's I mean? Jokes, and it's mad. You know what? For me, I've seen buff celebrities in person, yeah? And you know when you're but you're just realizing who someone is. Just before that, you think, "Ooh, who's that?" Mm. Like a buff thing. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 it's true. I, if I saw Rihanna like in London shopping or whatever, yeah, yeah, I'd be like, "Oh, who's that?" Bu-? Oh, okay, mm, that's yeah, Rihanna. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. Rihanna. That's the first thing before anything. Yeah, I, I won't lie in it. I've watched I've watched many uh, videos on uh, the color show, the performances on yeah, the color yeah, yeah, show, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I've seen women on there. And I've I purposely have clicked on it, purposefully because. have clicked on it because they are. <laughs> and I'll be real with it. I have. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna go on like I haven't done it because I have. And I've clicked on it because they're buff. But then at the same time, it's like when I find out they can sing, I'm like, raw. This girl was pretty and she can sing. That's hard. Yeah. Marketable. Yeah, it's yeah. That's how you look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Maybe because I have that kind of brain where I'm like straight away after I find out they can actually sing, I'm like, yeah, you're actually marketable. You're actually sick. Like you will do well because you're both you're pretty and you're talented. How many singers? How many female singers can you actually look at? Be like, oh, she's nasty. She's bars. There's not many. Not many. Not that I can. Think not of not that are right. popular. Yeah. Do you know what it is? Like, There's there are singers that I will not find attractive, and I will still listen to them. Regardless. Yeah, 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 of course. And I will still, if if I res- if I like their music enough, I will still watch their videos if I come across it. You got a fast mm. car? What's that woman? That's the last one I can remember. Is about okay. Who's that? Who's that? Fast car. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, song. You gotta, you gotta uh, You know, who? it's an old song anyway, bro. Doesn't anyway, matter. I'm not gonna start listing people yeah. who are ugly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, I'm saying man, that's pretty privileged. Not, you know? <laughs> I'm saying like it's there's there's not many, right? So yeah. in terms of popularity and what is pop, what what is marketable, mm. that's like seventy percent of the thing. Mm. For the most part, and and look at Bad Bobby, yeah, whatever her name is, man. Bad Bobby, Bad who's that? Oh, oh they catch me out. Oh, they catch me out. Catch me out. How about that? She's not particularly talented, isn't it? Mm. You know, they're probably writing her bars. Yeah, for her. they're yeah, writing her yeah, bars yeah. definitely. Yeah, Cold the up only black. thing she is is a shell. 
She is a she's a conduit, bro, for yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. whatever whatever, whatever it is they're the, trying to push. Yeah, conduit, that's a good word, like that. Yeah, but, yeah. but um, might I add, it's not just women though. This shit happens with men, bro. I mean, how many times are you oh, handsome? Watch, yeah, like handsome privilege. men. You know what I mean? Handsome privilege. That's yeah, it. that's that's the same thing, bro. Another thing. Because I've seen it. I've seen it on X Factor. I've seen it on Britain's Got Talent. Really? Them shows there where they're 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 they're, they're 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 good looking chap. You mm. know, and and their shit. <laughs> and what they do but the judges are, are like or especially the female judges are like yeah like yeah him. you know, know what yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give him another about him. I like I like the way you, <laughs> I like the way your, your tone goes up a little bit and then it goes down you need to work on this but I'm going to put you through because you're about <laughs> <laughs> they don't say that bit no they don't say that but it's implied mm. yeah. it's implied especially when the crowds are going ah! yeah, 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 all yeah. the women in the crowd I mean, yeah, man, pretty privileged. It just shows how shallow humans are, isn't it, really? Yeah, man. Yeah. It's it, part it of the is, thing. We're innately shallow, it is what it is. But then we have our own conscious reminders. Why that, is that? Okay, we shouldn't treat people like that. Why is that? So What? Why is what? Is symmetry a thing to where symmetry is actually what attraction is? No, because no, and because I tell you, you why. Similarly ugly. I tell you, I, no, 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 no. I tell you why. Yeah. I tell you why. Yeah, because this is. I I remember reading it a few years ago. Yeah, they done the whole symmetry thing on who at the time in I think what was it? What's that fucking? Is it FHM's World's Prettiest Women or whatever it is? Probably. Yeah, they took the prettiest woman at the time. I can't remember who it was, and they done the whole symmetry thing. Mm. You know what I mean? The science behind the yeah. symmetry. Sophia and it turned out she mm. was not symmetrical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wasn't. Yeah. But she was still deemed the prettiest woman. So you when know. it comes to symmetry, I don't know if you can. As really I said, base it could it be similarly that. ugly. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't and like... we, Yeah. <laughs> no, man, it's true. And we've said it in previous we said it in previous podcasts, you know what I mean? It comes down to be- beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Exactly. It comes personal preference. That's but then you gotta admit there are there are people in this world where they're gonna have more people like them because of their looks. Yeah, then. because universally, they're yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, universally they are just good looking. Yeah, Do you know what I mean. Interesting stone. You know what? I was thinking about this, yeah, because I saw. You know, did you ever see those like body transformations and stuff like that? Like people are like fat and out of shape, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Six yeah, months yeah, or a year yeah, down yeah, the line, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They're chiseled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's interesting because it's like, what is it about someone being in shape that makes them that, however much percentage more attractive? For, right, this is just my my view on it. Yeah, mm. when you see someone who's in shape, mm. it in my head it shows that they're not a lazy person. Even then, they're, even then, they're they're willing to be active mm. they have a form of energy about them they have some form of get up and go yeah, instead yeah, of just yeah. being a couch potato yeah, you know yeah, yeah. it shows in some sense maybe that they they watch what they eat yeah. you know so behind that you have to have a some form of intelligence to understand how food digestion works and and mm. all of that stuff like what you intake in your body so you must have some form of intelligence yeah. to pattern out your planning yeah, and all yeah, of that yeah, shit yeah, 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 yeah. you know what i mean there's, there's different things bro mm. you know and just aesthetically, just it does look better. I'm sorry, mm. like it, it. It might sound bad, but it it just does. Yeah. You know, and it's just the human oh, condition, bro. I wanted to talk about this. I watched this program. I can't remember what channel it was on. I think it was Channel Four or something like that. Yeah. They had this program where these people go into a house. Yeah. And these are all basically fat people. Yeah. Mm. And. I forgot what it's called, man. Anyway, they're all fat people. They all go into his house. And uh, you oh, basically know, see all the different outlooks they have on being fat. Is this where they where they draw up their diet plans and all of this stuff? Mm, and they actually I, try to diet? I haven't seen that. So, oh, no, I, I watched thing. one episode. Yeah, yeah, two, yeah. One or two episodes, yeah. And it's interesting because you get... There was this one woman that was really rubbing me the wrong way, man. Mm. She was this woman who's, like, about fat acceptance and, like how you know it's good to be fat there's no such thing as a good or bad diet are oh you, are you a oh, woman yeah, oh you're I, mean. I don't you are deluded in, you, you are know deluded. yeah man you are deluded and you know there's other people who are there who are gen generally genuinely worried 
<laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? What about and themselves? Who, yeah, and they want to change. But she's like, no, you're beautiful. You're this, you're that. Mm. You're, yeah, but within them, they know something's wrong. Do you know what I'm saying? And you're out here trying to convince them that something's right. I, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying, but she's allowed to have that opinion. She's allowed to have that opinion, but guess what? And, yeah? and, and don't get me wrong in it, yeah? Do you know how many... Do you know how many bigger people, yeah, I've seen, yeah? Men as well, like, no homo in it, but men as well, yeah? You can see under their weight yeah, yeah, that yeah. they are either handsome or they are pretty. Yeah, Do you yeah. get what I mean? Like, I've seen enough big girls, yeah, that are pretty. They're mm. mad pretty, bruv. Some yeah. of them are prettier than these slim things, fam. Yeah. And, and that's real, isn't it? But it's, it comes down to your own... <laughs> Self confidence. If you don't feel happy within yourself, then it's gonna show. Then, it, then it's gonna show, and it will show on the outside as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it will manifest in different ways. So, for her to say you're you're beautiful still, it's good in a sense of because it's it's giving them a form of self esteem. But sometimes you can say something to someone <coughs> and truly mean it, but if they don't believe it, it don't matter. Mm. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, yeah, definitely. But I just don't get it because she was saying all these things, man. Maybe it's she's in denial. True. She was just that. This aren't true. Well, there's, that's not true. No, there's no doctor that's gonna tell you. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you're on the right track. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's just not a thing. All all you know? fat people when they go to the doctor, they have this thing, and they were saying this in the program where when they go to the doctor, the doctor says, "Listen, if you were in shape, you wouldn't have this issue." <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's real though. Like you, you, you fell over, you fell over and broke, broke your leg or whatever. Because <laughs> you're a bit top laughing, heavy, man. You're a bit top heavy, yeah. Stop you gotta, laughing. <laughs> you, you, gotta balance it, it out. <laughs> Why are you making it worse? Oh god, god. You fell. Technically, yeah, right. I'm, not, I'm not laughing at, at the people. I'm just laughing at the way you put <laughs> I'm laughing at, right. I'm laughing at the way you put things across, bro. But yeah, carry on, carry on. It's just that they, you know, you fell over. You know, it came into my head when I said you fell over. You know when people go, you fell over. You fell over. <laughs> um, you fell over and it makes it worse. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you fell over mm. and you're heavy. And it mm. makes it harder for you to recover and things like that. Yeah, it just yeah, makes it harder. Not even that. You're, you're, especially if you're already. Let's say you're like already like quite a built person in general, like you, you the big bone thing, mm. yeah. And then you you're adding excess unnecessary weight to your mm. body mass, yeah. And now that's just compressing down on your bones, bro. You're you're gonna get mad backache, bro. Knees, knees, yeah. backache. That's why people have cankles. Mm. Cankles. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's real though. It's real. It is real. I'm not trying to be deep, but it's real. And for the woman to say your diet doesn't matter, bro, if that was true, I will be eating fried chicken every day. I'll be eating what I want. I wouldn't care. Mm. I wouldn't care. I'll be eating everything that I, I fucking love because all the majority of your bad shit's fucking banging. Yeah. Oh, this and I'll be said. eating it. She said, oh, I'm an instinctive eater or something. Instinctive like that. eater. She's out here eating Mars bars, all sorts. Like, no, this... you've got a seafood diet. You see food, you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing, yeah. Instinctive. She's chasing down shopkeepers. I just though. don't think I just don't think it's healthy. <laughs> what? I just don't think it's healthy. Do you know what I'm saying? To promote that lifestyle. I understand yeah, it's yeah. good to love yourself. Yeah. But at the same time, you have to have some reality about mm. it. I will say this, though. I don't think it's healthy if you have a choice over it. Some people don't have a choice about their, their yeah. size. Some people have medical conditions, which is yeah, real, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But if you can't, if you can control it, mm. but you're if, not if doing you're so because, because of, the, yeah, because of the, the food you <coughs> intake and, and you don't exercise or, mm. you know what I mean? Let me tell you now, yeah. Do a 20-minute little cardio workout. Push yeah. ups, sit ups, yeah. you know what I mean? Burpees. Do it yeah. do it 50, uh, 20 burpees. minutes. Wait, yeah, no, no. Burpees, burpees are really hard. <laughs> alright, all right, yeah. cool, but you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, alright, exactly. cool. Do you planks, start. planking, you know what I'm saying? So all of that, yeah, and trust me, do it nearly do it two days, yeah, and then have a break, maybe, and then do another two days and have a break. But do that and you'll lose weight, I'm telling yeah. you. And eat right. Trust you'll me, lose the, weight. The eating eat, thing eat, is ninety percent. 
of the battle, bro. Yeah, it is. If you could do the eating thing and not work out, trust me, you'll see you'll yeah, see some real. results. And the yeah. most thing is, more, more time is psychological. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't, I like, I, I'm, I'm bad with it because I see food literally, and I will want to eat it if it's that there. Seafood diet. Yeah, literally, I do. Yeah. I have that seafood diet, bro. Like sometimes, I'll go in like if I order a takeaway, for example. Yeah, I always try to see what the most healthy banging option is. But then I just get sidetracked because I see some other shit and I'm like, yo, I know that's going to be so much banging, fam. And I'm like, fuck it, I'll get that. Do you know what I mean? So it does come down to your thought process. You need to be disciplined with it. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, everyone slips with it. Don't get me wrong. Everyone slips. I don't care. No one can tell me that they're not slipping. But the thing is, yeah, I feel like people, (laughs) where people go wrong is they choose a diet that's not sustainable. Yeah? You need to choose a diet that you can sustain. For years and years and years. Yo, start by stop drinking Coke. Yeah, stop it's drinking. I don't even drink fizzy drinks. Yeah, I don't yeah. even drink juice anymore. I can't lie, I drink that's fizzy like, drinks. That's like the first step. But it's fizzy drinks in moderation. Listen, I have a yeah, fizzy drink yeah. once a month. Yeah. Maybe. I remember at one point, I had a can of Dr. Pepper in the fridge for about four or five days. Mm. <laughs> that is me with fizzy drinks, yeah? I can't lie, I'll drink fizzy drinks. <clears throat> but the thing is with me as well, I bang out water. Mm. I bang out water. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I probably go over the recommended amount a day for water. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I drink water, bro. The thing about sugar in the form of a drink and in the form of a sweet and all these things like Liquid that, yeah, candy! Is, yeah, mm, yeah you, you consume more than you realise. Yeah. I think kind of coke has got like, what, eight spoonfuls of sugar or oh, 16 or something. Well, this is the yeah, thing, yeah. yeah this is the thing. It's mad. Now, I watched a documentary about this, yeah. Um, how sugar affects the body, yeah, when mm. it's when it's taken in that, in that dose. Mm. So if it's just pure like sugar like that, where it's not got the fiber mm. and all the things to kind of slow down the metabolism and the digest digestion of it, it it what it will do is it actually slows your white blood cells. Yeah, it does. Yeah, for, yeah. for a time, I think it's like a five hour time period. If mm-hmm. you eat like a sweet, like a few sweets or whatever, mm. in that time period of like five hours, depending on the amount of sugar, obviously your white blood cells will slow down. Mm-hmm. So your immune yeah. system actually takes a hit, um, which is crazy. Do you know so, Tropicana? Yeah. You know little bottles of Tropicana? I don't drink them. 34 grams of sugar, bro. See what I'm saying? You can't drink that. Just mad though. They, like, obviously, vi- we, we all know fizzy drinks are sweet, in it, yeah? But what's, what's mad, yeah, is... So a Coke is obviously sweet, mm. yeah? But... I I think I can't remember the, how many sugars. It's either eight or sixteen or something in between that in it. Yeah, of, of spoonfuls of sugar in in a can of Coke. Yeah, <coughs> but I still don't think it tastes as sweet as if I done a cup of tea and I put like four sugars in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. somewhere down the line, they're putting this in, but they're diluting the sweetness somewhere down the line because. With that amount of sugar, I feel like it should taste sweeter than what a tea is with four sugars. Yeah. And I don't know what they're doing. It's the flavour, man. It, it's something. They're doing something. They're either cooking it down a certain way. <clears throat> High fructose corn syrup. Well, corn syrup. Are they is, allowed to it? use that in England? I don't um, know. I, um, yes, I've. No, because I've read, I've read all the like, I've read like ingredients of different fruit juices and. Um, I'm pretty sure it has corn drinks. syrup in it. Like, I don't think it has high fructose corn syrup in it. Um, I don't think they're allowed to actually use it in England. It's, it's too bad for me. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, the whole point is you're not actually meant to drink juice like that. You're yeah, not no. actually meant to take fruit in like no, that. No, you're not. <laughs> that's like when, you know. Fiber attached. Yeah. That's like when people do the uh, the juicing thing. They're just basically taking the juice out of the fruit and leaving all the fiber. Yeah. Fiber's gone. It's that's that not good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're just basically, it's just sugar at that point. Mm. So you need the fiber to s- to slow it down. Your body don't down. know. What See, it's I, doing I, I know. I'm just reading this here, yeah. But I know, I know this guy in it who uh, who got a gallstone, and it was through the drinking of fizzy drinks, mm. and they and and the drink he drank in particular was diet coke. Yeah, you know, because diet coke may not have sugar, but it has additives in it. Otherwise, yeah, it yeah. wouldn't be sweet, bro. So somewhere down the line, it still has a form of sugar. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, we can have the 
synthetic sugars. And yeah, but it, when it's causing thing. things like that, yeah, that's when you need to limit it, bruv. Like, it's all very well maybe having a, a, a drink a day. Do you know where people go wrong? Yeah. It's because they drink it, but they don't drink water. What is that? Yeah, and you shouldn't just drink it. Let me tell you now, I know enough people, yeah, that just bang out either squash, like Robinson squash, you know what I mean? Uh, fizzy drinks, whatever, bruv. You get what I mean? And it gets deeper with water because, you see, I was in uh, Sainsbury's yesterday, yeah? Or was it Tesco? One of them. Um, and I was looking at the different... Well, I picked up this water because I thought, oh, it's a bit more expensive. It might be good. What's it called? I looked at the back. I can't remember. I looked at the back and I looked at the pH level and it says 6.5. <laughs> oh, no. And I was like, well, why is this oh, more no, expensive? No, no. Yeah. Hold on. If it ain't over then, a 7, I then don't want to know. I picked know. up the Tesco's brand 17 Peating. And it was seven point something. I was like, so why is this 17p and this one's way more Is that at source or is that? At the source. At At the source, source, yeah. yeah. So, Mm, I mean, it can change, but at the same time, that's what it is. I mean, the water-wise, I try to drink Ivion. 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 And there's another one. I can't remember the name. I don't fuck with that smart water. My my favourite one that I've come across is Monchique. There's one, yeah. there's one, yeah, nine that's, point that's, two. yeah, that's nine serious, point that's, that's serious, Non-cheek, that's the Portuguese, yeah. that's serious, there's another one though, that you can get it over here, I can't remember the name of it, not, not Buxton, not fucking, oh, you're talking about Saka, is it, Saka's oh, like, oh, it begins with an S, Saka's like eight point something, it might be that still, it's good. yeah, it might be that, yeah. it might be that still, it's serious, I bought a twenty four a twenty four pack. Yeah, yeah. Bro, four ninety nine. You can't go wrong. And a lot of people say when they drink water they can't taste the difference. Bro, you can taste yeah. the difference. You get water, water you get water you get mineral waters. Yeah. You get all the different types of waters and some of them will have like metallic tastes. Yeah. Some yeah. of them will just be clear, will just go down, you won't taste nothing. Yeah. That's yeah. kinda what you I want remember really. seeing this little little experiment on, on YouTube, bro. I think they took like a uh, council juice, tap mm. water. Yeah. yeah. Uh I think they took Evian and they took another one it might have been that smart water mm. and they done this thing i think they i can't remember what exactly what they were doing but i think they put like copper coils in the water or something okay. i can't remember what it was to see what's and they've done this form of experiment and at yeah. the end of it the the colorant of the council water the mm. tap water yeah went dark do you know what i mean it's like it almost brought out all the all the impurities in the water do you know what i mean whatever they done it brought out the impurities and it went dark and then smart water went basically like Coca Cola. Oh, Do you know what I mean? But Evian, it was nice. It was water. It was <laughs> nice. Evian is probably the safest bet. Out of what you can find in most shops. Yeah, Evian. Yeah. Evian is probably. What do you think of Bolvik? I don't know what Bolvik's pH is. Like yeah, I like Bolvik. I don't know what its pH is, though. Bolvik's pH is not as good as Evian. No, it won't be. It won't be. But it is a mineral water. Man, who has the worst? When I went to Nigeria, and oh, I was drinking that water, pure, Eva. Pure water. Let me tell oh, you something, Eva. Eva, yeah? That was burning my chest, bro. Oh. I was getting some acid attack in my throat. Oh, bro. no. So we had to go to Victoria Island and get Evian. Yeah, give that. You Evian. have to go to the nice areas to get <laughs> yeah, the decent that's water. Nice. That's how mad it is. So, yeah, man. That, that's the whole thing. Water's a big thing. I burn my throat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah man. So mad. I don't know, like, do you not see that um volcano thing in uh New Zealand? Yeah, I was uh, telling you. Know, I'll be real, I, I have I haven't really I've been so busy. Mm. I haven't really delved into it like that. Mm. But I've seen it, I am aware of it. So didn't some people die that's what I know people died, yeah, yeah. People died, people are missing. Yeah. Also they evacuate of... was there evacuation? Listen man, they told people that something was going on. Yeah. Now I don't care what I've paid. Yeah, no, no disrespect to the people that have been yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but if you have a warning that there is a the, the volcano on the island that you are going to is active and there has been some activity in the past mm. couple of days, mm. would you still go there? No. I don't care how much oh, I've paid. that's it. That's right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. If, if, if you've got people who have been lost in that situation, yeah, I will say get on to the companies and mm. you need to get some money, bruv. Because those companies knew exactly what was going well, on. Well, the tourists told. Because from one yeah. one thing, I, I, I thought, I, well, I think I read it somewhere or might have heard it on the news, that the tourists did were told that it was happening, but they they still was like, yeah, we'll go. Oh, anyway. yeah? Really? So yeah. if you're if we're from that, if it's if that's true, then you ain't really got a leg well, to stand on. Well, surely they would have had to sign a waiver or something. Yeah. 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 We, uh, yeah. 
it's still it still be. man it's sketchy because if if you're telling me that see that volcano over there been a bit weird last couple of days yeah, mm. don't yeah i'm i'm going the opposite direction exactly. i'm not trying to be encased in ash yeah. bro it's not pompeii you know I mean? bro. this ain't pompeii out yeah. here bro so i'm not I'll crack a toe i'm not trying Isn't to it? do that you know what i mean what encased in fucking ash and stone bro do you think <coughs> i was watching um i like to watch travel videos in it because i like mm. you know yeah like, man yeah um it just makes it just reminds me how much of the world there is to see yeah there's so much um man bali yeah, mm, like Bali's seychelles nice. maldives yeah. mm. uh thailand i still need to go to thailand thailand's wanna, definitely on my list i want to go to australia i even yeah. want to go to new zealand yeah, yeah. i want to there's so many places Bro, everywhere go i want to go to japan yeah do you know what i mean japan will be sick. i really want to go to japan yeah I want to see. I want to go to Tokyo, bro. I want to see what this technology. I want to get some of that wagyu <laughs> beef. Oh, the wagyu. Ooh, bit of wagyu. The wa- wagyu beef. The wagyu beef because the place is called wagyu, isn't it? The, the, where the beef comes from. Mm. Um, it's weird because it's like mo- it's like uh, it's mar- marbled. Yeah, but it's like fatty. Yeah, like, it's fatty, really marbled, fatty. Yeah. And it's Apparently, like, the, mas- the the cows get massaged every day. Yeah, I don't know if everyone does that. I watched like a little program on mm. it, but they said that they don't do it. So. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have to, but it's serious it business, you know. Massage. That yeah. Wagyu beef is serious business. Go, hench, they have auctions. Cows. They have auctions. Yeah. Go on yeah. randomly. Yeah, go on. They have auctions where, um, but beforehand, they have their beef specialists right. who examine the cows, mm. uh, obviously the slaughtered cows, like their carcasses, uh, and give it a grade of like how good the beef is mm, and obviously then that um, determines the price of it and whatnot. not mm. like people auction on it and all this kind of stuff man. it's crazy out there yeah, what was you going to say? Yeah. no I was going to say like you're talking about cows I see this thing the other day where uh, they're trying to trick cows into thinking it's um, the right season to produce more milk or something like that I can't remember what it was Scientists, they're trying to trick them into thinking it's summer still. And what they're doing, and what they're doing is they're putting <coughs> virtual headsets on the cows. For what? To trick them into thinking it's a certain... Headset? Uh, yeah. Oh, you mean VR? Yeah, yeah. But VR headset, yeah. Like a VR thing. Virtual, what? Like a virtual <laughs> thing for the cows. It's, I, I, let me find it. Cause it's something to do with tricking them into, into thinking something. Whoa, that's all Where mad. are they doing that? I think it was over here. Mate, what? I thought cows just produce milk. But <laughs> I thought that was just a deal. That seems a bit over the top. I don't know about that. I think they already give already they already give cows supplements to make them Oh milk. oh here you go. So it went over here. Oh there you go. It's not even like to do with milk, bruv. Or it might be somewhere down the line. Russian cows get VR headsets to reduce anxiety. A, oh. Rus- a Russian farm... Bro, where have- did you get the milk from? No, no, because it's something to do with that thing. A Russian farm have given its dairy cars virtual reality headsets and a bid to reduce their anxiety. The HUD donned VR system adapted for the structural st- structural features of cows' heads and was shown a unique summer field uh, simulation program. Moscow's Ministry of Ag- Agriculture and Food cited research, which they say... Uh, has shown a link between a cow's emotional experience and its milk yield. There you go, the milk yield. I see. So it's wow. just so basically trying to keep it's it. It's got to be an and experiment. That's, uh, that's an image of. Bro, it's outside in the cold. How are you gonna think in <laughs> summertime? There was mad about that. Yeah, the cows gonna be like this. Is, cold What's mad about that? Because I don't know if it's true, but they say cows sit down when it's about to rain. Yeah, I heard that. So well. how does it work now? Because they can't sit. <laughs> They're not gonna sit down. <laughs> I'm, just gonna stand I'm sure they'll ever. get tired and just sit down, bro. Mm-hmm. But I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I don't know how stupid a cow is. Well, they've done experiments. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't imagine. Experiments took that. place, you know. What was the conclusion? Uh, examples of dairy farms from different countries show that in a calm atmosphere, the quantity and sometimes the quality of milk increases. Uh, okay. researchers will examine the effects of the program in a long term study the developers reportedly hope to expand the project if positive results continue interesting wow. so, yeah you, you might be driving you might be driving past the farm one day with cows with headsets on there. you see a cow with an yeah. oculus rift yeah. <laughs> <laughs> running through wild, the field man. yeah I don't nuts. know I, I didn't know this but apparently they add cream to some milks 
That's interesting. Yeah. Cream. To yeah. I mean, I'm not against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> I, I, you know what I mean? I, you know that, a... that gold top milk. It's legit. Is that okay. the gold, yeah, top, gold top milk, bro? Oh. Do you know what I had the Tasty. other day, bro? Uh, full fat Cravendale. Yeah. Yeah, 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 man. Never had Cravendale. Good before. milk. It is banging milk. <laughs> yeah. A little more pricey than the, yeah, yeah, than yeah, the yeah. normal milk, but it's worth it's it. It's nice though. <sighs> milk, milk. Um, they say it's for babies, but yeah, I like milk. I like That's, milk. You know what it is? It's because um, obviously a large percentage of certain populations are lactose intolerant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because their body stops producing uh, lactase. Lactase. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and me, I'm still lactose tolerant, so mm. I will continue to drink milk. I am not. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, the the, the, the flipping, the Arla lacto-free milk here tastes better than any milk I've ever drank in my life. Bro. The, la- the, what, the lactose-free it's, one? Yeah, it's actually banging milk, bro. I mean, I'll drink that. It's yeah. creamy as fuck. It's cre- only is it actually fuck. milk? Yeah, it's milk. It's creamy it's as fuck. The only, milk, yeah. the only milk I don't really fuck with is red top. It's not milk! Listen, it's not water. Milk. It's really water. It's fat. water. Do you know what it is? Oh. It's like, it's like, it's you know what it is, yeah. It's a you know, lie. You know when you know when you know when you're 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 trying to put feed into your plants, yeah, <laughs> and and you and you fill up the little thing with water, yeah, and you want to give the little feed, so you just stain the top of the water. You know what I mean? You don't you don't drown it in the feed. You just stain it a little, few little drops, yeah. That's what that skim milk is, bruv. Yeah. They put water <laughs> and they've poured a little bit of milk on top and that's all that is. I can't remember what TV show I was watching, yeah, but some guy was talking about skim milk. Yeah, and he was like, there's two things I hate in life. He's a liar. And skim milk. And skim, <laughs> skim milk. <laughs> I hate skim milk because it's lying about being milk. Yeah, it's not milk. <laughs> it doesn't even taste like milk. It's not no milk, taste. Man. It's not milk. I only mess with full fat. If yeah. the green top is there in the fridge, I'll use I it. I can't lie, I full don't fat. Is my goal to don't put that in my cereal. No, don't, don't put that near the table. No, the anything else apart from full oh, fat. Oh yeah, yeah, full fat. I was gonna say. I'm, I'm so happy my parents didn't actually. They bought the skin. Milk. Yeah, they use skin milk. But but, don't know, get me wrong. Like, I can that. I can fuck with green gr- the the green top. No. You know what I mean? But full fat is the way yeah. forward. I you drink lie. green top and you drink the blue one. It's like. Yeah, there's, there's no, uh, bro. It's night and day, yeah. bro. Night and day. Yeah. You make a cup of tea with the with the blue top, cause it's like the unsmoked bacon and smoked bacon. It's like you know. You can, oh a no 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 no! This is where this is where it depends what you're doing with the bacon. Mm, that's true. I'm depends what you're doing with, with the bacon. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. If you do it, like you that, man said that like we know what you're <laughs> hearing, cause yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. standard. Dude. All right, then if you're having it just like that, it's fine. Get some uh, yeah. applewood smoked Canadian bacon. Oh, bro, do you know what I've been into? The Oscar Mayer thing. Oscar Mayer thing. Oscar Mayer thing, like the American style streaky. Oh, yeah, yeah, streaky. That, yeah, oh. yeah, I like this. Bro, for breakfast. Yeah. It's it like, is oh. bad. Oh. It's so banging, bro. Do you know what I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a massive uh, pork lover, like pig lover, to be honest. I but I, 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 fuck I, gammon. I, 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 I fucks with... Uh, I've had gammon that's really nice. No, 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 no. Let Wait, me tell you what? now. See, gammon, yeah. bowl bacon, whatever you want to call it, yeah. Bro, you got... This is this is how I like it, yeah, and it's banging from me. Yeah. You boil the fuck out of it, yeah, and then you roast it with honey. Mm. You do a honey, honey roast. roasted boiled bacon. You gotta cook it right. The reason you boil, <laughs> no, no. The reason you boil it, yeah, is to get the moisture and you soften it. Right, the salt. And then and then the salt stays in it. Bro, so much it, salt. Yeah, there is a lot of salt, but you know this what I mean. Gammon has to be cooked properly. Yeah, it has pork to be cooked belly. Properly. Ah, oh, it's a lot of fat, but, right, but, but it's one of them. It's one of them things. I will eat pork belly, but it's not like I'm going out to actually buy it myself and cook yeah, it. No. So when I say when I say I don't eat pork uh, pig, it's it's uh, it's uh, on an everyday thing. Mm. The most things I'll eat on an occasion is is bacon, is bacon sausage. and sausage. Mm. That's it. I don't really fuck with anything else. Yeah. Bro. I yeah. won't go out my way like that. I've been looking into like, making my own jerky because I know you made it once. Mm-hmm. Like, it's doable. Man, it just takes a long so time, nice. man. Yeah. Yeah. You can get a dehydrator. It, it does though. take. You can long. buy dehydrator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How long does it take to, to do all that though? Too. Because I've never gone through the process. I've read up on it. I've never. I can't remember the length of time yeah, but the way I did it was you put your oven on the lowest setting, right? And if you got grills in your oven, mm. you literally you're gonna cut your beef as slim as you can. Or get a butcher to do it. Or get the butcher to do it. Cut yeah, the beef as slim as you can, and you're gonna hang it or lay it if you have to in the oven. Leave the oven door open slightly yeah. and just just wait. <laughs> you're gonna, so you wait want, you wanna season it season it first though. Depends so what so the flavors so you want. Worcester yeah. sauce. Yeah, yeah. 
paprika. You want that smoky flavour. Garlic, smoke, you want that, you pepper, want that smoky flavor, garlic powder. Chili flakes, if you want. Chili flakes, mm. you know, mm. all that Cray good stuff. Cayenne pepper, whatever you want, man. Whatever you want. What are yeah, you into? Because that's gonna have to be a. That's my. That's my healthy snack. That's still, yeah, it's the best snack, really, when you Honey. think about it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's my healthy snack, man. What do, you, what do you think of salt, salt beef? Salt beef. I like salt. Beef. Oh, get biltong out of here, actually. By the way, biltong, biltong is not terrible. Good. Yeah, mm. it's got it's got a weird taste. Like who the, came up with I've that? I've tried the Kruger one. Disgusting. The Kruger. What are you on? Kruger. Jerky. C R U G A. Yeah, it's, it tastes like fucking, tastes like camel. There's one that I have. <laughs> Man, I say it tastes like camel. Man. There's I one know. that I have. I don't know what the brand is, but it's banging, bro. It's in like a black bag, fam. It's all blacked out, fam. West, West. It's banging. Wild bro. West. It might Wild be West. Wild, Wild West. West is the best one. Listen, it might you be ain't Wild had West. the Costco one, Wild bro. West. The one you get from Costco in this bit, it's called steak strips. It's not even called jerky, bro. Steak strips. I buy it. It's ten. It's seven pound right now. Mm. It's usually ten pounds. Big thing, big bag. It's a big bag, bro. Okay. Mm. Let me tell you something. The bits are like that long. And oh, that that's Ooh. the that's the thing. Trust me, it's banging. Yeah, that's it's nice. Bang. That's I'll nice. bang out a whole pack. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Dry me. <laughs> I don't care. I'll just sit there watching a movie and bang out a whole pack, bro. Seven pound yeah. down the drain. I don't care because it's made of like whatever the nice cut of beef is. The it's like the lean lean bit of beef. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's like fillet steak. Fillet steak is the most expensive. Fillet steak, rump steak, mm. skirt steak. I mean, like, all the steak is good, man. I don't understand. Top side um, yeah. cut of beef is good as well for the, for the jerky. I like it, bruv. But yeah, man, I love all that stuff. I want to go hunting. I've been thinking about it. Hunting, I like to go. Hunting. What's yeah, the re- what's how the requirement? Do, how much does a hunting trip cost? I don't know because the hunt you need to you need to first of all if it obviously the, someone owns the land you need the permission to hunt on it. Otherwise yeah, you but surely you can go. Surely you can go to a company <clears throat> that provides hunting trips, and you can just be like, yeah, pattern me. I can't lie. I, I want to go somewhere like Scotland. <laughs> yeah, and hunt and hunt here, yeah. Scotland, Scotland, and bring it back. Bucks. Yes. Bring up bark. Get yourself a deer. <laughs> Yo, when you not do that accent, I just think of that video. <laughs> <laughs> bring the deer bark. Bark. <laughs> bring the deer back. Cut it yeah, up, man. Put it in the fridge. And do you know what? I've never been. Uh, I've never been proper fishing. I'd like to go oh, fish for some yeah. salmon up in fucking Scotland, bro. Do they have salmon in Scotland? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Scottish yeah. salmon. Proper things as well. Like Listen, proper. I, you know what it is? I just you know. You know what makes me want to go hunting the most is Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, isn't it? He posts pictures of him eating his fucking but the elk. his barbecued elk, yeah, the elk. steak and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, yeah. With and then the he jalapenos. has them. Bro, what are them mushrooms that he had? The one know. I seen the other day, the mushrooms look bad. They yeah, look that, that, certified. That Paul Stamets, the mushroom. Yeah, uh, I can't remember what they're called. Okay. Yeah, I must have given him some mushrooms. Well. Yeah, but, but shiitake look banging. mushrooms or whatever they are, yeah. Mushrooms banging. are banging. I like mushrooms, man. Like, and I just think, like, right, I like garlic wild, wild game is obviously going to be the healthiest meat that you can get. It's living off the land. It's not, there's no, no, no extra shit they have added to the food. Do you know what it is? I think that's what, that, what really attracts me to the idea of hunting. Yeah, yeah, he shot the rabbit, but mm. put it on the barbie on, on the fire. Yeah, it was nice. It man. reminded me of turkey. Mm. Rabbit is good. Mm. Yeah. And it's a good. You ever had wood pigeon? No, no. Wood pigeon's nice. Bit of wood pigeon. Bit of a it's a bit of a darkier meat though, bit of mm. a gamier meat. I'm down. As long as it's not got Guinea fucking fowls parasites. Now. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, if, as long as you cook it right. I mean wood mm. pigeon it's a wood pigeon, it's not like you're cooking a fucking city pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, I know certain don't men don't know the difference in it between the city pigeon and the wood pigeon, so I remember dad telling me there used to be pigeons. There used to be pigeons. There used to be pigeons. Uh, Ain't no pigeons no more. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, yeah, bro, that's food. Yo, yeah, speaking yeah. of Nigeria, I was looking up that Dambe fighting again. Mm, yeah, Ooh, Dambe fighting, serious. Dambe. You know, there's a more extreme version. If For those who don't know what Dambe fighting is... There's a more extreme version than Dambe. Yeah, yeah, no, of Dambe. Oh. They're not allowed to practice in public. But, um, yeah, so they wrap, like, rope around their hands all the way kind of up to their elbow. Yeah. yeah. Simulates the spear hand. Yeah. Yeah. Simulating yeah. the spear hand. Yeah. And the lead hand is the parrying blocking. Yeah. They're allowed to throw kicks as well and stuff like and headbutt. Almost like yeah. a shield. Shield yeah. and spear. So shield is is emulating the shield and spears mm. back in the day, yeah. And they're 
punching each other in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone else. Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. Brutally. Now, I learned that there's a more extreme version of Dambi, but they can't practice it in public, where they actually dunk the rope hand in glass. In glass. Oh, on some, on some. Oh, Muay Thai, what, they've done that in Muay what's Thai. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, that, thing. what's that film that, um, the, oh. the French brother? Kip, what are you at, Kickboxer? Yeah, didn't they do that? Yeah, they've done it in a Muay Thai fight, innit, with John claude Van Damme. Why? <laughs> What? Because because that <laughs> because that, that they they were trying what? to sim- simulate the the origins of how Muay Thai because that's how Muay Thai fights used to be they used to wrap their hands up in rope they used to duck they used oh, to so have like have... a they used to have like a, a resin of some sorts which, which would stick, the the glass will stick to and then they used to fight so you have a one fight career basically <laughs> Bro, you know go back a few hundred years you know there was one Muay Thai fighter that was just certified. Savage fam, mm. bare oh. cuts on his face, look like glass face fam. Yeah, just got the longest arms. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Fucking Dal Simbav. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing, like you can't even clinch with that, man. Mm. Yeah. Oh, mate. So yeah, man. I was looking at, I, and I've come across Gidibo as well. Gidibo, Gidibo, which is basically the West African uh, wrestling. It's kind of like, uh, so it's 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 basically MMA. Mm. Uh, in a simpler form, there's punching, there's headbutting. Mm. Igbo basically means headbutt. Mm. So, um, yeah, that's what it's named. Is that the Se- Se- Senegalese thing? Nigeria. That's called something else. It's a you know what I'm on about? The one yeah, where you got, them the big se- you got them big it's Senegalese <laughs> brothers just wrestling, fam, but they'll punch up each yeah, other. Yeah, it's well. the same thing. It's yeah, the same yeah, thing. Yeah. It's just got what a was that name. called? So, uh, that was... depends what language it's called different. Things. I remember you called it something once. They call it loot or something like that in French. Yeah, yeah. But it just basically means fighting. Yeah, 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 yam yeah. fueled fights, bro. Yo, them them yam big fueled. Senegalese yeah. fighters. I came across <laughs> an MMA fight with two giant Senegalese dudes fighting. Mm. Didn't last long. No. But Not those dudes up. are so big. So mm. black. They're so big <laughs> and so black. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Senegal and Gambia. Yeah, like they they have like the biggest of black people. Yeah, the Samoan of Africa. The Samoans of let's, Africa. Let's put the Samoans against them. Senegalese. Nah, that ain't fair. <laughs> it's not fair. Let me tell you it's them not Senegambians fair. Senegambians are still bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. They're huge, man. Like it's solid. Re- you don't, bro. Near near three hundred pounds. Yeah, they're massive, man. They are massive. It's too much. Are you saying you think they couldn't take on the sumos? Sumo. They'll do well. That's how they fight anyway. They, they, yeah. That's what I mean. It's, that's what I mean. They, they drag each other is, down, innit? They you hold, hold on the, to the waist. They hold the... Uh, the what, yeah. I don't even know what you'd call it. I don't know what they call it. The underpants. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> underpants. The underpants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have the yeah. underpants. You have the underpants. <laughs> the underpants. <laughs> they, use their, they use their weight, though, innit? They use their weight. <laughs> and Joss. <laughs> and Joss, you know, you throw him. That... that uh, going back to that Danby one, though. The one that you showed me, bruv, with that, I don't, I can't remember, I don't even think he was a big brother. He was like some, some maybe in his early twenties or something, yeah. bruv. And he was like, he's kind of tall and skinny, bruv. But he was doing the cow on the step he back. Was bang. Yeah, he savage. was savage. He, he was, was doing sick. the step back, and when he banged, man, yeah, the noise, fam. Basically, what he was doing, <coughs> he was timing, my man. He yeah, was just, basically, the guy will come forward, he'll step back, come in with it, because he, he was, has the reach advantage. He was doing a wilder, bruv, but in Dambi, <laughs> he was picking his moments, mm-hmm. nice, bruv. Speaking of boxing, yeah. Well, um, Joshua. What in Ruiz? Ruiz. Bro, I don't know what happened. You don't watch it. <laughs> you don't watch it. Did, of course, he, I watched did, it. Did he? Did he even train? <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, his dad came out in an interview and said, "Yeah, he didn't even train." That's a cop out. Apparently, his dad was like, "Yeah, we told him to come train, but he just kept eating." <laughs> Do you hear what Wilder had to say about it? <laughs> like, let me find it. You look pissed amongst yourselves. Yeah, man. Like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like the fight it, was it what it was gonna be. You know. Yeah. Joshua did exactly what he needed to do yeah. to win the fight, bro. Yeah. You know, it was Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson. I mean, pe- people were saying jab, it's a jab, boring move. fight. It depends how you look at it. I, I enjoy the technical side of it. People yeah. kept saying, "Oh, I've been hearing all week is ah, oh, Joshua run. Joshua's a coward." Blah blah. What? You can look at it like that. I, I, I cool. You, you might, you, like might that, wanna, you might want to. You might want to. Just people in it that I know. I'm not gonna name names. You know who you are. It's the power of the jab. But yeah, it's the jab. 
it's bruv, he was dancing around him and he kept in the centre. Oh, he was Dude, dancing around, man. But I was, I will say, if what if um Ruiz, well when Ruiz got close, mm. he had to clinch, yeah. because if Ruiz catches you on the inside, yeah, and there's he knew a that. problem. He knew that. He knew that. It's a problem. I mean, if if you want to talk about the first fight and the second fight, mm. what was more exciting? Then yeah, definitely the first fight. Yeah, hundred percent. You know what I mean? They're, there's no comparison. The suspense. But, but yeah, but yeah, good. and the suspense was better because it was yeah. like, rah, when Joshua started getting knocked down, mm. it was like, rah, can he, is he actually going to take him? Mm. Is he actually going to win this? Yeah. And he did. So it, yeah, it was more interesting from that aspect. But technically, the second fight was good because it was, Joshua was technical about it. He'd done what he needed to do. Let me tell you and something. And that was it. He was there to get his belts back at the end of the day. Nothing more, nothing less. Let me break it down. Break it down. I already broke it down before it happened chicka, anyway. Chicka, chicka. I already said what was going to happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> and he did exactly what he needed to do. Mm. Yeah. People saying it's a boring fight don't appreciate boxing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. They just want to see someone get knocked out. They yeah, basically. They, they just want to brawl. Me, I liked it from a technical standpoint. He did exactly what he was meant to do because if you f- try and fight Ruiz close, mm-hmm. you're going to get caught. Yep. Don't try and fight him on the inside because you're not an inside fighter. Mm-hmm. Mm. He had the right game plan. Stayed on the outside, swinging the jab, swinging the left hook now and again, keeping his legs moving laterally, mm. um, staying mm. away from the power left hook that he likes to catch people with, um, circling that way, um, staying at a range where Ruiz couldn't touch him, falling yeah. short. Mm. Um, Every time Ruiz came close, he'd tie him up. Referee tie him had up. to, yep. Yep. Referee yep. Had to yep. um, separate them, separate them mm. go back, set, reset. Oh, now you're on the end of my jab again. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, it's perfect. It he, got, was, he was, um, uh, what do we call that? Posting. Yeah, he was posting. He was posting nicely, stopping Ruiz from doing it. Yeah, yeah. Him. It was beautiful. And then out every now and again, as Ruiz I said, close. He, yeah, yeah. he shocked him, broke mm. the pattern. Yeah, yeah. Hit him a few times. Yeah, yeah. And didn't get carried away. Mm. Came back out, stuck to the game plan, picked him apart. Mm. Beautiful. One thing I will say about Ruiz, though, not much ring general shit. Not he really, didn't cut the ring not off. Not cutting all. the ring off at all, bro. Following him around I the think, ring. I think, yeah. I think Ruiz like Ronda is, Rousey versus yeah, Holly Holm. I think Ruiz is. I don't know. I think he's he's he just wants to get in there, isn't it? He's trying. He can't really. Out. He's not really that that. He'll go for your head, but he's not really a head hunt. He wants to go for that body. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Now. Does Anthony Joshua survive Deontay Wilder? He can't do that same game. Well, he probably could try. And do no, that no, same he wouldn't game use that game. But it wouldn't work. Very I'm well gonna against. be real in it. Yeah, I think Joshua is technically a better boxer, but <clears throat> Wilder is Wilder, and he's just got this thing. I don't, has he ever not knocked anyone down in a fight? I don't think. I he think has he's it. always knocked someone down at least. This is my point, and. Majority of them people we knocked out has to go yeah, back yeah. up. Yeah. Only Fury. Yeah. So can Joshua take Undertake a can, yeah? Can uh, Joshua take a Wilder punch? In my opinion, no. Mm, yeah, because I'm gonna say Wilder hits a lot harder than Ruiz did, and Ruiz knocked him down. It's what, a different three, kind of punch, though. Different kind of punch, but I think it's gonna be a stronger punch. Mm. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I obviously I I, I I I like Wilder, but I'd want to see Joshua win that fight. But <coughs> if he does get caught by Wilder, then uh, I don't know. Yeah, man. I mean, watching um, watching the fight he had against uh, <coughs> a Cuban fellow. Ortiz. Ortiz. He, why does he smart? He's crafty in some ways. Yeah. Because um, what he'll do is he'll get he'll get people worried about other things than his right hand. Mm. To kind of give them uh, something else to think about. Yeah, so I, I noticed he was throwing the left hook and he was yeah. throwing the left body hook yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously Ortiz is a southpaw. So yeah, yeah, yeah. His 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 side with the liver yeah. is on so, that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's Exposed. hitting it with the left yeah. hand to make him forget about the real. But, yeah, yeah. The about, real the, about the damage. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And eventually you hit yeah, him. he didn't yeah. actually throw that much. Uh, Wilder didn't even throw that many punches in that. Do you know what I've noticed with Wilder? It's almost like I don't know if anyone else thinks this year, but it's almost like uh, I think Wilder's stamina is very good. Oh yeah, he don't and get tired. Uh, I've never yeah, seen him get he tired. He doesn't throw right, that right, much. Right. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't throw enough to get tired, but it's almost like he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows he's maybe not the most technical boxer, so it's almost like he just wears down his opponent. Ortiz was putting all the effort in. 
And to the to the outsider's to. perspective, well, he may be he may have been winning because he was getting off yeah. more shots. He was he was landing a couple shots here and there. Well, he's outboxed him. Yeah, he definitely outboxed him. But in that process, he's got tired, and Wilder hasn't. So when it come to it, when it I can't remember what round it was where he knocked him Bam. down. But whatever round it was, I know it was, I think, at least after the fifth round. One shot. So, and it, and, and he shot. timed it perfectly. Yeah. He knew Ortiz was tired, and then boom, he found his moment. Mm. Bang! Done. And that's exactly what Wilder does. Wilder's definitely the most impressive in terms of power. Knockout power. He's, Sheer he's, I think power. He's on the top, could I think you, he's on the top list now. Who could you compare him to in the history of boxing? George who? Foreman. What, knockout? Yeah. Just knockout. Yeah, who Tyson, could, George style. Foreman. Oh, his style. His style. Who oh, could you style. compare him to? Uh, There's know. no one really. No, no one fights like him. Though. There are people who have sort of elements of what he does. You can yeah. think of like yeah. uh, Tommy Hearns, who had that like yeah, yeah, long yeah. arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy oh, punch on yeah, the end yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. But he was also a very good combination puncher. Yeah, mm. Which Wilder, which Wilder is not. Combination puncher, yeah. He's literally just, that's why. It's a one bang. That's why people, that's why it's an interesting like triangle. Where you've but, got yeah. Joshua, Fury, and Wilder. Fury, you know? ultra technical. Yeah. Um, it's like Fury is on one end, mm. Deontay's on the other end, Joshua's in the middle. Yeah. Joshua's a bit of both, bit of power, yeah. mm. bit of technical. Tyson's all I think, technical. I think mm. Wilder's quite defensive. Deontay's all, all power. power. He's, yeah. he's all power, but he's quite defensive. It's like he, he just lets them come to him. He's got okay defense, but if you know how to work angles like Fury, showed, yeah, yeah. then you can see that's him. the thing. See, that I think Fury's the only guy that can really do him. I'm not gonna Fury lie. can do him. Fury can I do really him. I got that. faith in I think Fury, I think will. Fury will outbox him. He'll probably do him it's on just points. that right hand. That's the issue. Yeah. We showed it in the last fight. So, oh, no. so, so Fury, Fury, Joshua, Fury, what, what between Fury and Joshua, yeah. Fury. That's an interesting one because I don't think Fury will knock Joshua out. No, I don't he's think not he will knock him out, but, but he'll win on points. And I think technically he's better. Technically, he is a, a better boxer. Mm. Um, but. Uh, it's a confusing situation, which is why it's a perfect it's triangle. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's a perfect triangle you because yeah. you, when, you, when you see Fury, uh, uh, Fury Joshua, you're like, mm. okay, well, maybe. Fury on points. Yeah. When you think uh, uh, Joshua Wilder, you knockout. think Wilder yeah, possibly out. by knockout. So would you, you put Anthony at the bottom of the three then? In that case? <sighs> what, in that triangle? Yeah. It's hard. It's but hard to the way say. I see it, this is how I'm going to look at it now, yeah. Uh, Fury in that Wilder fight definitely won the fight for me. In my opinion, Fury won that fight. Yeah. yeah points. So, yeah, points. Why? So I'm going to say Fury takes Wilder. Mm. I'm going to say knockout-wise, Wilder will take Joshua. Mm. I'll say Fury will take Joshua. So, yeah, I, I guess, I guess, yeah. I guess mm. you could put Joshua at the bottom. That's weird because he's got the most belts, isn't it? It's mm. mad. It is weird. It is Eddie weird. Hunt. But, Eddie but Hunt. he hasn't fought Fury and oh. he hasn't fought Wilder. Mm. Yeah. They're the two main... The and only do you know what? I beg, I beg people triangle. give Dylan White some credit. I like Yo, Dylan. Dylan. You know, give him some credit, man. I feel like I feel like fucking Dylan White should fight fucking Wilder at some point, bruv. I want Dylan White to fight um You think he should fight Wilder? Yeah, man. He said Wilder's point. running from him. Well, that's what's interesting. That's what's interesting. I wanna see it. I, I definitely wanna see, wanna see him. Because I like Dylan White. He's a tank, bruv. Yeah. And he's gonna move forward on yeah. Wilder. I, but in doing so he may get I mean, I know Dylan and, mm. and Joshua don't like each other. Mm. But well, they've already fought. So. so they fought twice. One in amateur, one in professional. Yeah, I think Dylan White won the amateur. Yeah. He and then the Joshua amateur. won the... Joshua won the pro. Yeah. And then they need to fight again. I mean, yeah, that will come up eventually. Hopefully. I like Dylan White. Yeah, bro. I like him as well. He's, really, he's a, he is a tank, bruv. I root for mm. Dylan White still. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah, give him some mm. ratings. But yeah, if you're talking about the little triangle, mm. I say in order, I'm going to say Tyson, top, mm. Wilder, Joshua. But it's mad, like you said, because Joshua's got the belts. We eventually we'll find out. Mm. Out of all three, I'm not gonna lie. If I had a preference, I'd say the Gypsy King. I want the Gypsy King yeah. to be the king. The Gypsy King, yeah. He don't do drugs. The he don't do drugs. Not anymore. The only drugs he does is cocaine. At least that's what he's doing. Steroids. Bro, did you see what um jo uh, Big Joe Joy John Big Joe Joy Big Joe Joyce Big Joe Joyce Big Joe Joyce. Let me tell you something. 
<laughs> Let me I used to soak, soak my hand in petrol. That was the worst fight for two hours. I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Big that? George Joyce. Oh, oh, Big Joe George Joyce. Yeah, yeah, George Joyce. That was the worst fight I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Andy Joyce was a coward. He <laughs> ran the whole fight. Get in the is ring that what, with what, Joyce. What you get in New York and you don't fight. <laughs> Boy, look at man. The Gypsy King is the best boxer in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's basically saying for like five minutes. Like. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. He says he can't even see. Big <laughs> <laughs> George Joyce. Yeah. The old Gypsy tight, King. old tight Joyce. The Gypsy yeah, King. Man. I like that. There's another. Yeah. There's actually a boxer called uh, Joe Joyce, but yeah, he's like is. the mixed race brother. Isn't yeah, he? yeah, yeah. He's under David Hay. He fought. He fought. I like his. I he like fought it. Joshua, isn't it? Did he? Yeah, didn't no, he? Fought he fought Joshua. Yeah. Didn't he not? No, 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 no. They ain't fought yet. What we saying? Yeah, go on. No, no, I was just going to say, what were you saying about uh, uh, t- Tommy Fury and wanting to fight um, KSI? KSI, yeah. Bro, KSI don't win. No, no, no. They're not even entertain that. Yeah. Bro, As- yeah, yeah, it is. You have to, bro. If you can entertain local pool in KSI and you can entertain Harvey fighting my man, whatever oh, his name is. Oh, they're fighting soon, innit? Yeah, it? they're fighting That's soon. You can entertain because this is what's happening now. Semi celebrities or no, celebrities, but, but, but whatever you want to call Fury them, they, they, they're fighting. Boxer. He's a boxer. Yeah, I know he is. He's a real boxer. I know. So fight, fight KSI's trainer. Have Don't you, fight have you KSI. Have seen his fights? Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. I seen one fight anyway. But um, yeah, man. I mean, fight KSI's trainer then. Mm. You lot are on the same level. So mm. fight him. Mm. Yeah. Fight, um, what's uh, you got Usman Covington Usman, coming up. Yeah. Usman yeah. Covington. Um, not particularly excited about it. To me. No. I'll be honest, I don't even know who's on that whole card, bruv. I don't, I don't know. know. All I know is, I, I know um, Max Holloway's on there. I don't know who he's who's fight- Max Holloway I don't know fighting? who he's fighting, though. Uh. Just the thing. But that's the that's the only fight that's interesting me, is the Usman-Covington fight, because of what Covington did to Robbie Lawler. Yeah, did you watch that fight? No, what did he do? No. Covington smacked up Robbie Lawler. Mm. Yeah, and Robbie Lawler don't get smacked up. You know what I mean? Mm. Covington is a volume puncher, <clears throat> big volume puncher, but also good at mixing, mixing in his wrestling. Yeah. So you're not only thinking about his hands. Yeah. You're thinking about is he gonna take me down? Is yeah. he gonna have me up against the fence? You know what I mean? Is he gonna clinch me? What's yeah. he gonna do? Yeah. And that's exactly what he did. He mixed it up perfectly against Robbie Lawler. Yeah, but Robbie Lawler's one dimensional. Just now, Covington's D one. Yeah. yeah. Usman D two. Yeah. Um, wrestling. Mm. So. Theoretically, uh, Covington's a better wrestler, right, than Usman, right? But we saw what Usman did to Tyron Woodley. Exactly. Yeah. And we've yeah? seen what Tyron did to everyone. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like, this is going <laughs> to actually be really interesting. Mm. And I'm excited to what see is what it Saturday? happens. I think it is this weekend, yeah. I'm out for this. You know, it is. <laughs> mm. I don't, catch I don't enjoy co- watching Kobe Covington, so I don't. Yeah. Listen, he knows what he's doing, bruv. He knows what he's doing. Bro, when's this could be for I don't know. Next year. Tony! Oh, is it next year now? I thought it was in this December. Do the reason. job, Tony. Yeah, Tony, I got feelings. Please, do the Please, job. I'm tired of Just to take him on. <laughs> yeah, just the wrestling, wrestling thing. I appreciate wrestling, but... Yeah. I get so bored. Stop pushing people in the cage, man. Yeah, Stop. that's what he does. That's what he does. So annoying. Just mauling. Tie man, up bro. the legs. Get rid floor. of the wall, the cage, man. Dash, man. <laughs> bro, let, him, <laughs> let him roll down, bro. bro just have a slope, man. <laughs> Fight on sand like Giddy Bull, man. Hey, you know I mean? the bowl. Yeah, bro. Put him in a bowl. I can't lie, yeah. I want to. Do you know what it is? I want the fight game to just get maybe more interesting and maybe a little more stupid. And when I say that, I mean in the sense of I want to get rid of weight classes. Oh, you can do oh. that. I want to put Open weight class. a featherweight <laughs> against a heavyweight. Right, people bro. have done That's that. That's you'll seen find that fight? it. But um, I want to see it in UFC. Yeah. I want to see it. Happened. It's happened I want to see it it's properly. Happened. And I want to see it in boxing. As well, <laughs> yeah. No, why not? It doesn't make sense. Why it not? doesn't make sense. Why not? The, uh, if it was MMA, it would make more. sense. I want to see it in everything. Like I would love to see Mighty Mouse fight somebody a lot bigger than him, Got just me. to see how good he is. <laughs> just to see how good he is. Bro. One of them Senegalese Mighty Mouse versus Ngannou. One of them. Oh, <laughs> uh, you never know. He bro. might. He might just hop on man's neck. This is and what choke I'm saying. Him out It'll be bro. interesting because you, you know how like he can't. You know how like it's not exactly the same. Yet, but you know how like uh, Sanchai fights fights taller fighters, bigger opponents. Mm. Yeah, that's Muay Thai, man. Yeah, I right, cool, but still it could be done, bro. Mighty Mouse versus Stefan. Because you're tall and big, yeah. It don't mean your leg. It don't <laughs> mean your leg. Ain't, it don't mean your leg ain't getting chopped out. He's not cuts. gonna close the distance. He <laughs> can't. It's possible. 
But still, all right, put... Um, I'd love to see that. They're just exponentially stronger than... Khabib them. versus Nganu. Khabib Nganu? Nah, that's not fair. Because <laughs> Khabib's actually quite big. The like takedown. Yeah. The takedown, yeah, bro. Bit of, He's quite big, man. Yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah, see I mean, someone like... I'd like to see someone like... Who's a, who's a good, like, good heavyweight? Overeem? 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 Versus who? Someone like... Uh, Good, like a lightweight or something. Overeem versus McGregor. McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah. What, about he's Pettis? Fighting, what about Pettis? He's, he's fighting um cowboy. Yeah, McGregor's fighting cowboy. He's gonna fight cowboy. He is fighting, isn't it? Because yeah, I kept yeah, hearing yeah. it, but I've not looked into it to see if it was real or not. Yeah, McGregor versus cowboy. They're saying that the, the fight yeah, after seven, that yeah. is uh, Cuban Jesus. Cuban oh. Jesus. Oh no, that's not fair. I've seen McGregor that. Versus Cuban I've Jesus. Seen, Jesus. I've seen Street Jesus. The, what I've seen from McGregor lately is on the gram, and he was doing a couple uh, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu uh, training things. That, well, like, I can't remember who he was training with. All bro. I'm saying is McGregor cannot fight Street Jesus. Street Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Street Jesus will Jesus not Jesus listen. Let me tell you something. <laughs> You know what my man will do to him? That's not even fair, bro. He'll crucify you. What are you talking on the feet? His head will explode. He'll bro. baptize you. You see what he done to Darren Till? Oh yeah, <laughs> that was a one bang knockout, and, though. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, bro, who yeah. called that Darren Till the other day? Someone called him out saying because apparently Darren Till's going around saying he's the money fight, and, and someone called. He's not. Yeah, and was the Sanya. Adesanya wants to fight him. He wants to fight Adesanya. Someone called yeah, him. Do you want to fight? No, yeah. someone called him out in it and was like, "You're not the money fight, bro. You're 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 you're, you're, you're the setup fight to the money fight." I was like, "Yeah, you know I mean, I can't remember who it was." Darren I read it. Till is a. I like watching Darren Till. Darren, I like Till. Darren Till, man, I like him. They're all gay. You know that guy, bro. I swear, Dan. <laughs> He had so much momentum in the beginning. After he yeah, smacked yours, up it's... Cowboy. Yeah. No, you're not safe, man. <laughs> That's man's always getting cold. He's just straddling the, the flipping. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's yeah. actually, yeah. I'm thinking it ain't on, bro. The man's all hugging it in that. Is it hot? Yeah, it is. It's it's bro, it's hot, hot, man. <laughs> Are you behind it? Yo, Are you, you okay? You be keeping warm, fam. <laughs> I just bought a blow here today. That, that heat is getting past Those the heaters make me feel kind of sick, though. I like the um, halogen ones, man. Yeah, it is. Uh, Halogen's good. What? Oh, halogen heaters, yeah, but they eat your electric, bro. Mm. So the blow heaters? Yeah, but I don't <laughs> put it on. Yeah, no, no, but as long as I close my door and I put it on for like 20 minutes, I turn it off, bro, it's clump. The heat, <laughs> <laughs> the heat stays in there, bro. You know what I'm mean? saying? I know what you mean. All right. Yeah, man. Um, quickly, though, going off subject, I just want to talk about this one thing. All right, cool. I see in the Vice, Vice uh, channel, a company is sending cannabis and coffee to space to see if they mutate. Interesting. Yeah. What in a zero grav environment? So this is the do? report. What would cause so it to mutate? Astronauts have taken medication to space since the early days of the planet exploration. But next spring, a Colorado company plans to be the first to send plant cultures of coffee and hemp a variety of marijuana to the international space station uh the mission will test if zero gravity will mutate or genetically alter the plants so presumably someday you can have a cbd infused coffee on mars (laughs) (laughs) they had to throw that in there can you imagine yeah man i find that interesting still i suppose yo give the astronauts some ganja though Mm -hmm. like let them be up there floating floating can you smoke in space Yes, because you, you yeah. can on the space station You'd because have they have a the form station. of, of uh, uh, gravity in the space station. Mm. Outside of space, no. Oxygen. Because they, in space, you can't even have explosions. Yeah. No oxygen. You yeah. know, like Star Wars, yeah, yeah, yeah. things blow up in space. You, you, it wouldn't even happen. Yeah. You, know I mean? you wouldn't even, you, more times, you, you probably wouldn't even hear it. You know what I'm saying? You'll just see this thing, bruv, like, I don't know. So yeah, for chill. real though. How is that, bro? Yeah, a, a planet can a planet can explode because it has a form Yo. of a, a gravitational pull and it has an atmosphere. Mm. Yeah. Same way as the sun has is a ball of gas. It's fire, bro. You know mm. what I mean? That is so but true. 
you couldn't just throw a bomb in space and explode it, right? It was, nothing will happen. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I actually wonder, never thought about it. I wonder that. how that works then. What the fuck? So, it, for, maybe it stays as a, as a sphere. Just yeah, I'd be pissed. And man. at the same time, yeah, if you was trying to smoke outside the city, there's no oxygen to feed the fire. I can't light it. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, but yeah, on the space station you could because they have a form of gravity, you don't know. They need to bring it back and sell it. Maybe on the moon. <laughs> maybe on the moon you could do it. Because it has a form of gravity. Yeah, but it doesn't have There's gravity. no oxygen. It doesn't have an no atmosphere, oxygen. bro. You can't start a fire with no oxygen. Uh, that's true. Mm. That's yeah. true. You'd have to put it under your suit. No, you got to take brownies. Or <laughs> you'll, have to, you'll, you'll have to just hotbox the suit, guys. <laughs> the, the yeah. helmet, um, you, know you can't see anyone. You're in space. You're <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh shit, where am I? <laughs> you know what I mean? You're on the moon, bro. Bro, if you get so high, you look at the earth to realise it's flat. You're dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, that, that they were right. It is flat. Oh, bro. That, what happened to that whole flat earth thing? Yeah, is that still on? I know we want to get into it. I, I wish I'd never said anything, guys. Yeah, Dude, right, cool. Flat earth. We'll call it a day. Call it a night. Call it a day, night. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, I'm not a... Episode 23. It's over. None of the words of the pod. We're going. Wait, 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 wait. What? Subscribe. YouTube channel. Subscribe. Instagram. None of the words of podcast. Subscribe. Spotify, YouTube, all that. All of that. All of that. All of that. All of that.